Do you know if a hacker is logged into your Google account? I want you to really think about it. If you don't 100% know the answer to this, then I can show you a quick way to find out. This process takes less than five taps or clicks to check, so it can be done on the desktop or a mobile device. And it can go a long way to giving you peace of mind, even if you already have two-factor authentication enabled. I know that most of you will check your doors and windows every night just to make sure they're locked. So it's curious to learn that this isn't as common of a task for people and their Google account. Most of us have important and private data stored in our accounts, from personal photos to text messages, and even your browsing history. There's a lot of our digital lives that are tied to our Google account these days. So it makes sense to get into the habit of checking how to secure your account by looking at which devices have been signed into it. This process does not take very long at all, and those two to three seconds each month could put your mind at ease when you're wondering if your account is as secure as you had hoped. Thankfully, Google has a really convenient way of checking to see which devices are logged into our Google account. We can look into this by first bringing up the My Activity page for your Google account that you're curious about. And I'll have this website linked down in the video description below for those who may not be familiar with it. And I'll have that linked in the pinned comment here as well, just so that it's easy for everyone to find. Once you land on this page, you're going to want to tap on the Devices chip up at the top and this is the page that you're gonna to wanna to look through. From here, you'll want to scroll through this list and find every device that is logged into your account. Google will even give you details about where that device is located. If you find a device that you're not familiar with, or maybe you found the device with a location that you know for sure that you haven't been to before, then it's a good idea to tap on that device and then select the sign out button from here. If you're really paranoid about a specific device or just in general about your Google account, after you tap into a device, you can select the don't recognize something option. And that will also invalidate your current logged in session while also signing this device out of your account. Once that's done, Google will even give you the option of changing your password for those who think their account has been broken into. It's a good idea to go through that devices page and sign out of every device you're not familiar with. If you accidentally sign out of one that is in fact yours, then you can just sign back into your account on that device at a later time. It's not going to flag your device or your account. So no need to worry about mistakenly thinking your device is suspicious. And I would recommend you follow this routine about once a month or even once a week if you think there's something suspicious going on with your account lately. Now, if you could, please remember to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family members so their account can be secure as well, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more Android content like this.